this is uh, how to create free electricity part two. I was going to go over the complete build, um, also showing how we're amplifying it up to around 65 volts now. So you need your four pieces of copper, your voltmeter, you need your center of your alternator, six rare earth magnets, six ceramic magnets, uh, copper wound about a hundred times, and you're going to need some alligator clips as well as your trusty hammer. Also, you're going to need your wires so you can connect your copper pipes and crisscross, just like we did in part one. So, I'll start by pounding in the four pieces of copper here. I'm starting to understand a little bit more about this as, as I keep experimenting. I don't believe I'm just drawing electricity from the ground. I believe it has something to do with the Earth's polarity, uh, the natural Earth's magnetism that we have and containing it. I believe it's some sort of electromagnetic field that's kind of absorbed in this grid. Um, later in the video I'm able to show you guys literally just sticking the voltmeter around this thing and getting I believe up to 9.5 volts just from the dirt. So right here I'm showing you guys that uh, there's no voltage right now. 0 0.119. Nothing. So right now we just got our four pieces of copper. It doesn't do much. Now bear with me through this part. I literally have to test every single part of building this. Because the last video I did just kept getting comments about people saying there'd be wires connected to the ground. Well, there's wires connected under the ground right now, I'd be getting a voltage, just so you know. I don't know if you think I'm pulling some little magic trick here, but I don't feel like wasting my time for that kind of bullshit. I said that before in part one. But, just so you guys stop bitching and leaving me comments, I'll show you guys through every single process, and I'll test every single part. So, for the other people that just kind of want to get to the point, bear with me here. Alright, so 0 0.29 volts. Still no voltage. The grid has not been created yet. So I'll speed up this process because it's basically um, part one here. Connect the four wires. It's pretty simple. Um, what I did to increase the voltage this time is I basically stuck more ceramic magnets. Originally I had four, now I got six. And I added this copper winding in the center with the earth magnets directly in the center. Basically just trying to create more magnetism, more of a magnetic field. So once the grid's connected, it starts to show a voltage. I think I got, what's going on here, 55, 56 volts going, and it will increase. Once it kind of connects, it builds this field and... It conducts through the wires to the four points. I don't know how to explain it. So the four points, they're the strongest. They sit at about 65 volts. And then it creates an electromagnetic field, perfect circle around the thing. So I'll show you in a little bit where I test. And you just stick it in the dirt around this. I'll do a quick pan around the area just to show that there's no external wires connected above ground now after I built the thing. I already proved that there was no wires under the ground by testing it through every step. Show the perimeter, there's no hidden batteries. And anybody who thinks that they can get their batteries up to 64 volts, well, you're going to have to have a pretty big stack of batteries to connect each one. And I don't know where the hell you're going to hide them. So there's the area, there's the volt. Next I'm going to uh, show you guys basically a test showing that, okay, now that everything's set up we're getting our voltage. I believe it sits around 61 at its top here. Maybe about a second, so I'm going to adjust the camera. Okay, so 59 gets up to 61 volts. And I wanted to test it just without the alternator and see what I get. 
0.0034. Test every part. Negative 47. And it kind of jumps around a bit. So that's just showing, okay, it works. And as soon as I pull this out, I don't know why it's not working, but it doesn't work. Next, I'm going to do a brief test with the electromagnetic field showing that I'm getting a voltage from just random spots in the ground around this thing. Uh, okay, so we'll first couple tests and then I'll be able to see. Okay, what do we got there? We got 2.0 volts, and that's right beside the circle. And as soon as I go outside the copper perimeter, I got 9.2 volts. So I thought it would be neat to try and light a light bulb up just with the dirt, not connecting it to any of the copper, just literally off the electromagnetic field. So that's what I'm going to do in my next video. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and remember to subscribe.